I really suggest just taking more time to be still, be in silence, be one with yourself rather than always just con- consuming some things that aren't really necessarily good for our reality. What is good, everybody, on this fine, fine day? Jasmine here, and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be more of a get ready with me, and I'll be talking about some things we're leaving in 2020 and bringing into 2021. From makeup, of course, because this is a get ready with me, all the way to external things that we are going to bring in 2021 some things we're going to leave behind for example first and foremost we have this primer that is going to stay back in 2020 it was a good primer it did what it needed to do but um we have to move forward i've used it literally all year like i've had enough but we are bringing in this little technique here that auntie jackie Ina taught us to put the translucent powder over the primer that mwah, chef's kiss it just provides a light layer of coverage before you put on your actual foundation and other subsequent products so maybe you won't even have to use as much foundation or concealer afterwards before i move on to other things ignore this red portion i was trying something new i was trying red brows um it didn't work out okay i ended up removing it later but the concept we're gonna bring that into next year i'm gonna revisit that um but today it didn't quite work out and i did end up fixing it up so ignore that for the latter half of the video moving forward i wanted to talk about one thing that we are definitely leaving in 2020 is bad diets and i am talking beyond our food diet also our media diet we need to be very very conscious of the music we're consuming the news that we're consuming day and night how is it affecting our mind when you first wake up in the morning are you listening to the pandemic again for the 864th day in a row like you know let's switch it up i mean while it is relevant news i feel like it we all know it can be just taxing on our everyday life so try switching it first of all side note we're we're blending out our foundation with our fingers in 2021 we used to shade it back in 2012 but i I apologize for ever doing that. It is absolutely elite. Topping it off with a beauty blender to just really ensure everything is seamless, you know, that that helps out. But I'm telling you, look at how smoothly, evenly blended that is. Like y'all gotta hop on it if you ever hopped off. But back to what I was saying. We really need to be conscious of the media that we're consuming and instead of listening to the news first thing in the morning and i know the news is just bad bad news especially for my fellow americans especially my fellow black americans so instead i started personally listening to affirmations in the morning i listen to a bit less music and instead of listening to music while i'm driving i'm often listening to affirmations or high key even the silence is immaculate i listen to the wind <laughs> instead and i just be talking to myself and i've found out recently like i'm mad funny like i'd be making myself laugh a lot bruh <laughs> So I really suggest just taking more time to be still, be in silence, be one with yourself rather than always just con- consuming some things that aren't really necessarily good for our reality. I'll say one more thing too. First thing in the morning, our subconscious mind is so active. For the first 15 minutes, our, our subconscious mind is still extremely active. And so the first thing that you consume when you wake up has an imprint on your 
conscious mind and subconscious because your subconscious affects your conscious of course so imagine if you're listening to something positive maybe some worship music or writing down things that you love about yourself for five minutes or just telling yourself that you're gonna have a great day or being really intentional with however you choose to start your morning that can just have a positive impact on your reality rather than listening to so and so amount of people have died due to so and so and that's what you're hearing as you're getting ready for this beautiful lovely day we are definitely bringing white eyeliner in the lower lash line into 2021 i will say that that is gonna go ahead and come with us especially a brown girl it is such a pretty contrast no matter what type of look you're doing even if you do a basic look love it like it is really the most elite detail black liner kind of closes out the eyes but white liner definitely obviously opens them up and even a cream liner in the waterline it just uh it's just so beautiful highly recommend we are also going to go ahead and bring in using two or more concealers into the next year that is coming with us it adds so much dimension you'll see that i just blend the skin tone concealer in with the concealer that's a couple shades lighter than me and it just creates such a seamless blend between the two and then adds more dimension in my face if you choose to use a third concealer that is beautiful right in the tear duct and it really just opens your eyes and can really lift the face and give you just a more vibrant look secondly we are leaving comparing ourselves to others in the last year we just december 31st we could go ahead and dead that and that has again to do with our media consumption even friends i found that i get jealous of certain friends literally living their best life and i had to mute them i don't know why i was feeling that way but i acknowledge that it was a natural and okay feeling whatever to feel jealous like i think naturally humans aren't always watching what each other are doing we're always kind of living our own lives but now that we can see each other's lives it's i don't know it's easier to feel some type of way once you have access to seeing somebody how what somebody's doing i noticed i felt some type of way when i would see my friend in a relationship or i would see my friend literally going out to get drinks i'm like why am i not getting drinks why am i not boot up why am i alone in my bed right now watching this phone like nah girl you cool you're doing your thing but let me just mute her so i don't have to see that and feel that way about my own friend i don't know it's mad weird but even to celebrities i know people can get that way about their lives and it's just important to know that you are your own individual living your best life it's okay to get inspired by people and you should definitely look at people that inspire you but people that make you feel any sort of negative energy even if they're your friend know that it's okay to mute them or to just literally not watch your stories because i don't know we just going dead that comparison i will say we are bringing in though double stacking lashes into the next year i love double stacking a pair of wispies right underneath a heavier pair of lashes just like these i think it is so pretty and double stacking lashes has been around forever and i've slept on them forever but i woke up in november 2020 and i was like hold up what have i been doing why have i not been doing this before so i'm telling y'all we bringing this in to the next year it is so beautiful i literally didn't do it here but i'll insert a picture in which i did do it kisses 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 and finally i will say we are leaving the fear of failure in the last year guys it's okay to try know that it is okay to try but the saying is true like l's are just lessons in disguise and they honestly grant more opportunity to grow build thicker skin um and learn something new maybe learn something you didn't know about yourself so no more being scared to just jump
what we will bring into 2021 is a better morning and nighttime routine, guys. We are bringing in a bit, a better and more vibrant diet, adding more fruit to our diet, adding more spinach to the side of our rice and beans. We just gonna eat some more and add some color to the plate, all right, y'all? And finally, we are gonna learn to enjoy time alone. It's okay to be alone, sweetie. So really learn to enjoy time alone, try new things, and don't be afraid to jump. Much love to all of you guys. I'm wishing you a happy and blessed new year be safe of course if you choose to turn up be safe on the road get an uber home and i want to say thank you real quick for almost a thousand views on my last video i really appreciate it and i have so much more to share on this channel much love to everybody peace be blessed i'm out What's leaf? Don't be a freak. We can't afford it.